All right, to simplify this, we're going to separate uh, this fraction over each unique base. So this is going to be the numbers, the x's, and the y's. We have a 1 in the numerator, so there's no number there. So this is the same thing as 1 over 6 times x squared over x times y over y squared. And of course, this is the same thing as this because we're just multiplying fractions straight across the top. We get the top and straight across the bottom, we get the bottom. So I haven't changed anything. Now, uh, 1 6 can't reduce. That's the best we can get there. But here we have like bases that are dividing. So x squared divided by x to the 1 is going to be x to the 2 minus 1, so x to the 1. And here we're going to have um, y to the 1 over y squared, so 1 minus 2 is going to be y to the negative 1. And uh, a positive exponent like this means it's going to stay in the numerator because you can think of it like this. And then for this one, a negative exponent means it moves to the denominator. So we're just going to move it down. So this is going to be on top, we only have x to the 1 power or just x. On the bottom, we have 6 times y. And uh, this is our answer. Now, you don't have to break it up like this. You can just look at this thing here and just say, well, a factor of y here cancels with a factor of y on the bottom. A factor of x cancels with a factor of x on top. And you can see that we have just x on top and 6y on bottom.